To understand the art and artifacts at Sarking School, you first need to know about Hosea Joe Bartlett. Joe was head of the school from 1949 to 1968. He firmly believed that to be a successful minister, you needed hands-on familiarity with art. It started with the school. The original Cape Cod Cottage, built as our school in 1941 and 42, was renovated under Joe's guidance to include the small round chapel and the wing that now houses faculty offices. That corridor was built to be an art gallery. Joe got a Rockefeller grant to buy religious art, which he would rent to the students for a pittance. He held pottery classes in his home. Joe was a wonderful role model. At Star King, we teach by who we are. The portrait of Earl Morse Wilbur, Star King's first president, was loaned to the school by the Wilbur family. Wilbur arrived in California in early June 1904 to begin his work as a school's organizer, dean, and only faculty member. The school, he said, was a veritable carte blanche. There was a bare room or two in which to work, but there was not a scrap of equipment. There was not a book in the library save one given me for it as I was leaving Meadville and not a single person was known who might wish to study in it. The Reverend Dr. Earl Morse Wilbur was a man of vision and courage. If you look closely at the painting, you'll see the walls in the background are lined with books. Wilbur's collection of over a thousand books includes 65 volumes published in the 16th century. A book by Martin Luther, published in 1522, is the oldest. They tell the story of the anti-Trinitarianism and Unitarianism from the Radical Reformation almost until the consolidation of the Unitarians with the Universalists. We are a school which values the past while it looks to the future. The Buddha carved in the Nara epic in the 8th century of the Christian era, that's well over a thousand years ago, was passed down from generation to generation in a Japanese family until it was given to William Clay Macaulay, a Unitarian missionary to Japan in the late 1800s, early 1900s. He was given the Buddha by a member of the Saji family, a Buddhist who converted to Christianity. Makala gave the Buddha to Star King School. There are two doors to the shrine in which the Buddha stands, cloud doors that became detached, but which Star King has. The Buddha was left on top of a file cabinet for many years until Alicia Force, a staff member and then teacher here, rescued it and put it into its present case. 